Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Rusty Gears Episode 3. I am, of course, your old Papa Cheddar, and I gotta get you caught up to snuff with just a little bit of what's been going on here. I went on a vast expedition. I was able to mine up a bunch of salt there, start bloomeries for making glass for our underwater base, of course, chop down the most gigantimum tree you've ever seen, which gave me a ton of firewood, made the leaning tower of firewood, of course, nothing but the biggest skyscraper for your old Papa here, and with it, we're gonna make charcoal. Yes, all the charcoal. Oh, Oh yeah. Mmm, look at all that charcoal. And dirt! Oh yeah, look at all that dirt. Gonna use that dirt to add some more dirt to the base. Nice. Also made a very drastic and dangerous discovery that our uh, little island base here is not all that safe. Oh goodness no, not all that safe at all. I had also set out for a wondrous adventure full of many dangers and I, uh, I kind of died a couple of times. The first one, I was beset by an erroneous wolf. Uh, I don't really know what erroneous means, but look at that. He came out of nowhere. I was even on a pillar. And in the uh, the heyday of picking my stuff up, I seem to have forgotten my chest backpack. Oh, yeah. Look right there. There it is. Yep. It's gone now. Still haven't uh, picked it up. Then also, two hours running and kapow, dead. Well, how did it happen? Huh, let's figure it out. Let's see now. What is this? The death cap mushroom, that's right. You always gotta look for the mushrooms before you eat them. That little guy? Oh yeah, I wouldn't eat that little guy. Let's get rid of that little guy. There we go. Good job, Papa. But with all that being said, we have been behind in our base building. So, you know, what? say let's jump into a wee little bit of a time lapse and get cracking on that puppy. Mmm, that sweet underwater sea puppy. Yes, yes. For your old pap here, well, I need a nice swanky place to live and lay my head. So, let's jump into it. Oh yeah. This is just the beginning of our wee little base here. Not too shabby, huh? I kind of I kind of like it. It was a real pain in the butt to do. And I got to tell you guys what, they really need to fix the stinking water mechanics. Like, look at that behind me. That little guy, that little guy, those little guys. And it looks like we're raining or we're raining. No, it's raining all around our base here. Yeah, nothing but, uh, you know, torrential downpours when you're underwater. <clears throat> so yeah, if we come out here and we look outside, look at that. Ha 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 ha. Screw you, physics. We don't need you. Ah, but anyway, yeah, so because we use half slabs, you can see we got a little water pool right here that oh, sucks us down. That's right. It's uh, it's breathable air in here. Not air. Air. Not air. Air. Not air. Air. It kind of like sucks you in. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so you really got to fix that. And even with this, I tried to fix it. Oh, hang on. Yeah, there we go. I tried to fix it with water buckets and... um. Yeah, I had uh, water buckets did not work, uh, did not work at all. I tried replacing the blocks that I had dug up. See my beautiful packed dirt right there and there. Yes, my beautiful, beautiful packed dirt. But no, that didn't even work because we still have the stinking water effects going on. So I don't quite know just yet how I'm going to fix that. Um, maybe a little bit of exterior decorating or something along those lines. Yeah, yeah, uh, I don't know. We'll uh, have to play that one by ear. If you guys got ideas, let me know, but... As of right meow, I'm leaning towards exterior decorating, baby. Hmm, maybe nice rock gardener. <laughs> Let's do an animal pen. Yeah, <laughs> Let's put an animal pen right outside right there. They'll be fine. Yeah, sheeps, pigs, chickens, eh, they're fine. They can swim and breathe underwater. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, totally, totally can. Sea pigs, it's the chicken of the sea. <laughs> yeah, then all that's left here really is to get moved in. Well, no, not all that. There's quite a bit left too, honestly. I ran out of glass. Yeah, I uh, ran out of glass. Yeah, so got to get moved in. I think I can start moving in process here. And this little trail right here that you see, this thing. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be our tunnel from the outside world. Yeah, it's going to lead up to the shore, lead into a path, and we'll have a nice little underwater tunnel. So that way we don't need to swim every time. So I think it'll turn out great. 
Oh, well, that is if I can build it correctly. Yeah, and everything like that. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see. I'm not the best builder. I'll admit it. Not the best builder. But yeah, interior decorate and get all moved in and everything like that. And we're going to put a tower up top, multiple levels. I might even make some little branch tunnels off down here too. I don't know. That's the fun. It's uh, It'll develop. It is an entity, an organism. It will change and grow as we change and grow. But this is going to be the only base I do. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do a mega base. Uh, we'll just turn this into a mega-ish base. I mean, it's pretty mega. It's underwater. That's pretty stinking mega. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we got a little bit to do. The food situation, not good. See this right here, this bowl with meal? Well, by gummit, this is the only food I have to my name other than like a little bit of grain. But that's, you can't feed an army on grain. Well, I guess except for all the civilizations that fed their armies on grain. Uh, but you know what? I need more than that because I'm a grown papa. That's right. I'm a grown papa. So with that being said, we got to get our farmland situated and sorted. Now having a farm right here just ain't going to stink and cut it because it's way too stinking hot. So what I pondered and on my exploration travels, if we go over here, it hits like the mid 30s degrees and centigrade and whatnot. And you know, it's not too terribly far from our base. Just a little swim, a little jaunt and pow, pow we're right there in our new farmland district. Um, yeah, so we'll find a nice suitable spot over here, maybe in this glorious, beautiful field where all the flowers bloomed and such like that. It's also by where we got our tree. Yeah, gigantamum tree. It was neat. So let's scoot on out of this puppy and go get our farmland set up. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. I think this will be the spot for our farm. Just, uh, you know, a little hop, skip and a jump over away from our base. We are in September right now, but we're at a 21 degrees centigrade. So not too terribly bad. A lot, uh, ooh, there's some more seeds over there. A lot cooler, come on, let me jump on this. There we go. A lot cooler than where we were uh, previously located. That's the word I want. Ah, the beautiful sunrise, that's gorgeous. And we got some peat right down here too. So uh, we can dig all that up in the time being. But yes, our farm shall be here, ladies and gentlemen, here. And uh, apparently I forgot my hose. <sighs> I gotta go back. Gotta, you can't, you can't leave home without a good hoe. <sighs> All right, here we go. All right, got my hoe right here. Oh, oh, that's a cool animation. Hiya, uh huh? Hiya. But yes, got my hoe. I think we're all well and sorted now. I forgot my bucket. <sighs> of course, of course I did. Ah, mother. All right. Okay. Now then. Now we have everything we need. <laughs> this is. Oh, this is low. Dang it. Ah, this is low fertility soil. What else can go wrong? Um, is there any, dang it. Okay, whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna start digging. I'm gonna start digging and um, yeah, let's uh, let's get this puppy rocking and rolling here. All right, let's, let's do it. I'm just gonna start. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna time-lapse the farm here cause you know, we already got a time-lapse going on in this episode and you know, too much of a good thing is not a good thing, right? You know, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Plus, time lapses for me take a take a little bit of setup work and stuff to do. I got to use a whole nother computer. Sorry, I can't. I tried to get two two um, uh, instances of vintage story going on my main computer, you know, but it, it kept failing. It's tough. It's tough to do. I'm not a computery cat, you know what I'm saying? I'm not very very technical, so I just bust out the old laptop, log into the other account, and hop on there for the camera mode and everything. Uh, but yeah, so as you guys can see, we are. Digging zit trench. We got a good, nice, wide farm here. Looks like I had just the right amount of shovels. Um, oh, I forgot, la dang it, <laughs> I forgot ladders. Ah, uh, oh, no bother. We got sticks around here. That's fine. That's fine. And as you can see, nice, big, beautiful farm here. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yes. And, um, we're gonna, oh, wait, no, never mind. I don't need to do that because I'm gonna bring back some medium, medium dirt and, uh, yeah, get make this more fertile, I guess you could say. We do got to trim back this here ledge. We don't want puppies jumping over our gap here. We want them falling in the trench. There goes my shovel. That's all right. You know, I, I didn't want to dig anyway. I love digging with my hands. It's so much more effective. <sighs> yep. All right, there's our sticks and a boom and a boom. And if I remember this recipe correctly, yep, a boom. There we go, ladders. And we'll just place them on all four corners. Cause yeah, what? Ah. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna jump down here anyway. I didn't even want to be up there. Ah. Ha ha ha. Nice. Now, um, yeah, I just need the right proper dirt. Ooh, a stick. Hey, 
Now we'll just place those down. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. And a little something, something like that. There we go. And perhaps a little something, something like that. There we go. And block that off. And then these ones will just stink and flop them and drop them like that. Hopefully lure stuff in. Or if we want an easy convenience, uh, convenience, convenient passageway, that's good too. Okay. I really have to run back to my base once more and get our terra preta. And I'm pretty sure I got some medium soil fertility dirt there. Uh, okay. No time like the present. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that. You can see our base from here. Oh, it's just a big tower of ebony plank. Yeah, that's no problem. It's just uh, just our skyscraper. <laughs> that's right. I'm going to be using the, um, oh, what's it? The ebony slabs and stairs and, you know, ebony wood basically for our, our base. Our beautiful underwater um, vestibule or, you know, whatever. Cistern. Cool thing. Underwater base. Hey, tell you what, though, that's probably not even enough. Probably not even close to enough. So I got to go uh, more fern gully on some of these mother loving trees out here, baby. That's right. No one is safe. No one is safe. Well, trees, that is. I mean, if you're a person, you're probably fine. OK, dirt. There's my chocolate dirt. And there's some medium fertility dirt. Probably still don't have enough, though. Um, But, you know, it's better than... Better than nothing. Let's throw that in there. Boop and a boop. Cool. And a boop. Cool. Oh, that's a lot of hyenas right there. That's five hyenas. I just ran six hyenas. I just ran right through them. Well, let's just keep running. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, time to lay the foundational frameworks. There we go. Um, So let's see. Meow. Three and three. That was all of my medium fertility dirt. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> so I was trying to have the Terra Preta be the central, central focal points. Um, ah, dang. Okay, I'm just going to go find some. Yeah, it's, I'm going to go find some. Yay, Ooh, more seeds. All right. I think forest floor turns into medium fertility. Yep, yes, it does. Okay, forest floor. Here we go. Finally on the right track. I just got to dig up this entire stinking mountain. That's fine. Okay, hopefully we have enough dirt. Look at that. The chocolate donut is taking form. Aha. I do love chocolate donuts. I could really go for a stinking chocolate donut right now. They just sound delightfully delicious. Well, I'm more of a cream filled kind of cat. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with a good chocolate, chocolate donut, baby. Nothing wrong with that at all. Well, it, uh, it looks like I can't count very good. Is this right? Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's right, right? This goes 75, 50, 25. I, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that's correct. I don't know. We'll have to see, I guess. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I mean, at least we got water near the Terra Predator, which is the important part. Because as we all know, water's delicious, or Terra Predator's delicious. It's chocolate stinking dirt, baby. It's like a chocolate dirt. How can I do this better? Okay, something like this, and then we can have berries in the middle. I think that'll, I think that'll work out pretty nicely. Yeah. Okay, time to get this whole show on the road, baby. Mmm, tilling, tilling the soil. That is, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. All right, how did the farmer fix the hole in his jeans? He used a cabbage patch. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, farm puns. Gotta love them. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think I'm gonna have enough hose for this. Um, I'm, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't have enough. It's gonna, well, not be enough. <laughs> huh. Yeah, well, you know, that's okay. I guess I have sticks. I guess I could make another hoe, just a little. I don't wanna run all the way back to my base. That'd be a travesty. Cause I mean, it's not super far, but it's far, it's just far enough to where, you know, it's not really convenient. But we got good uh, good weather down here. 33. What? It was like 20. So, well, 33 is better. Anywho. Yeah, this will suit us better in the long run. Anywho. So that's yeah, all right. Sacrifices must be made. And Jesus, this farm, we should have done this like day one. Let's till this Terra Predator. That's important. And there it goes. All right. Stones. Oh, there's flint right here. This works, right? Break with bare hands to extract flint. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got two. Okay, that's all I need. There we go. Sometimes we got to get our hose on the fly. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. Boom. Problem. Solution. Survival hoe. Oh, wait, I need a... 
I need to hold this whole ground, huh? Because, yeah, bunnies. Dang it, bunnies can spawn up here. <laughs> I might need another hoe. All right, there's our field all sorted. Let's get the water going on. And kapow. Okay, sweet. Can't put that there. Of course I can. Okay, meow then for seeds. Seeds, seeds, seeds. We definitely want all of our flax. Flax is... Oh, there it is. I was like, oh no, where'd all my flax go? <laughs> no, no, no. It just um, it went into my inventory. But well, that's fine. Okay, um, flax. Ech. Soybeans. Eh, I don't know. Oh, oh, I don't know about soybeans. Um, carrots probably not going to work too good. Turnips definitely not going to work. Um, rice, uh, well, rice is nice. We don't have many of those. Amaranth's good. Peanuts, we'll do some peanuts because those are cool. Cassava. Uh, I don't really want to waste the space on that just yet. Some spelt. Parsnips, uh, 32 degrees. It's 32 degrees right now. Those will probably wither. So we need somewhat more um, robust, you could say, robust plants, I suppose. Uh, most of these things are oh, carrots, sunflowers, eh, yeah, we'll do rice. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get the flax going first, because flax is paramount. We need a ton of flax, as everybody knows. It's basically like the most important, hey, give me my dirt, give me my dirt, boop, there we go. It's like the most important crop. So if we just dedicate one side entirely to flax, I'm all right with that. Um, I will... Be able to sleep at night. Hey, get out of here, grass. We don't want you. Where'd my? There it is. We don't want you around here. And we're not going to have enough for everything. Okay, that's fine. Uh, three spots. Now, toynips. Plant them around the centra. A little bit of those. A little bit of this here. Now, we actually might be able to plant everything. Eh, soybeans. I don't want to plant soybeans. No. Well, the carrots are going to die. Or the turnips are. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Uh, we could just plant them and we'll still get like a little bit of a yield, you know? Um, yeah, soybeans, fine. Gross. They're really good, but they're so gross. Do the cassava, amaranth. Might as well do some carrots. Okay, all we have left is turnips. There we go. Finish off the crop field. Okay. Nice, dude. This is a, a really good size farm here. So that's cool. Um, meow then. We just need to get our berry bushes down. And yeah, we'll be looking pretty dang good. Most of those berry bushes are probably gonna die too because I think the, well, we have currants, currants, currants. So the cranberries, yeah, the cranberries are, I believe a cold, uh, cold winter or weather plant because they have the word berry and the currants are warmer. I, I could have that backwards, but it's either um, berries or the currants if it has berry in the name, or if it has current in the name, then they that separates them from, you know, what kind of region they like to be in. Okay, Mia, if we look here on the wiki, olives, which we have three of, the minimum of 22, a max of 50, and um, they need 0.3 and 0.5 of rain. So fairly dry, fairly warm. Um, where are we? Rainfall is common, so we might flood them out, and we're at 30. It is September. Um... You can't see what biome you are in, right? No, you can't. Um, hmm, I don't know if olives are going to work here. Uh, we could try it, but um, uh, I don't really want to waste them. Huh. Okay, Um. you know what? Caution to the wind. Let's just do it. And, ah, oh, shit, spooked me. Let's just do it and see what happens, I guess. Um... I got to give them a decent amount of space. So one, one, two, three. Okay, there's our olive trees. We'll see what happens with them. Um, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath. I feel like we just wasted them. But uh, yeah, we'll play by ear, I guess. Once winter comes to this biome, that'll be the telltale sign whether or not they will be destroyed. Yeah, but look at this farmland. Oh, glorious, glorious. And nothing should hopefully be able to get... Haha, we already have bunnies. Nice, you little stinkers. Get out. Oh. <laughs> That's going to keep getting me. <laughs> yes, marvelous. And we can take some red meat and some hides home, too. So, oh, well, okay, we might as well murder them now. I guess that's kind of a sign. Oh, sweet. Well, we have an axe. Viking axe club. 
Oh yeah, there's just like ring around the rosy right here. Come on. Ah. There's a victim. Trapped in a corner. You know, I should put some little corner traps or something. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. There's no, oh, we got one more. One more. Where are you? Come here, you. Oh, no. Hey, you were supposed to go in the corner. Okay, there we go. Got him cornered. Marvelous. All right. Meat. Beautiful, bountiful, tasty meat. And their skin. I can't wait to wear their skin. It's not weird. You're weird. Turn it into glorious leather. And that's one thing we really got to get going on, too, is leather. I got to find some lime. There's some chalk stone, you know. You got to know the scoop. That stuff. Yeah, where's the other corpse? There you are. All mangled and juicy. Mmm, just the way I like my corpses. Ten meats. Not bad, not bad. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do but to, uh... Wait for it to grow, you know, kind of thing. So let's, um, let's go on back home and cook up this meat. Yeah. Job well done, team. Job well done. And five servings of red meat stew. Don't mind if I do cook some stew. Oh, and all of our glass is done. Mmm, mmm. There we go, baby. The grind has been paying off, and I think I have some charcoal that's just about ready as well. Oop, I do, I do, I certainly do. But my shovel's about to break. <laughs> so, I need better tools, really. <laughs> I mean, I got all those tin ingots right down, right there. I should just make stuff out of them. Hey, food. And a boop, and don't mind if I do. Mmm. Mm, that's good food. Feel the flavors. Hey, I made a bow, by the way. BT Dubs. No arrows, though. I forgot that you need, like, feathers <laughs> to make good arrows other than, like, I could do crude arrows, but, um, well, I just don't know if that's really worth it. I mean, maybe. I haven't really tested or messed with bows a whole heck of a lot, but we are the hunter class. So, I mean, we may as well take advantage of it while we can, um, you know, because... Why, why the heck not? If we got the skill set, we might as well use it, you know? I don't know. Maybe the bow will help us out when we're caving. You know, like we could do the little sling thing, the slingma thingy. Um, but it's just not that cool. You know, I mean, the animation's cool, but I don't know how really effective slinging rocks and stuff is. So eh, if we're going to do ranged attacks, we might as well do it right. And go with the bow for show, baby. Mm, plus the longbow looks so much cooler. Like, I really want that recurve bow, but again, we got to get leather for that. Um, which means I got to really find a chalk biome kind of thing. Maybe in the next one. Maybe we'll set off for adventure. Do some more exploring or something. Maybe some caves. I don't know. That's the fun. We got a lot to stink and do. I really got to finish my stinking base. Okay, before we go for the day, I'm going to make some tools because that is a dire necessity. Yes, these. I'm done with stone tools, I think. I'm over it now. Yeah, I'm I'm finally done. Forget you, stone tools. We don't need you or want you anymore around, y'all. Mm-mm, baby. Mm -mm. Okay, let's do an axe, a shovel, a spear. Now, I know what you're thinking. But, Papa Cheddar, spears aren't that good. Make a sword. Well, you know what? Normally, you'd be right. But um, I'm not a big fan of the swords. So the spear gives me the reach, and then I'm going to be using an axe as my regular uh, close combat weapon. So the spear, I can still get away from critters at range when we do the water technique and stuff like that. Um, so that's my thought process on it, you know. And plus, Viking Axe Club. And, you know, we'll do some shears because uh, I don't normally do shears in Vintage Story. Um, but sticks is a recurring issue where I just don't have enough stinking sticks. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the shears make sticks really stinking easy uh so that i think shears would be a good idea and we can start a little tree farm even too you know i've been saving well i don't really have many seeds so i guess i can't say i've been saving up seeds um yeah so hey don't call me out all right hey whoa hey whoa whoa anywho yeah i can start a tree farm um yeah which wouldn't be a terrible idea because we need sticks we do what an awkward it's just like a big letter u or an a for awesome, because that's what you guys are. Awesome. And ka-poink, and we're done. All right, wasted a lot of charcoal on that, but that's okay. I don't mind a turtle's wink. Now look at that, we only have nine sticks. Then we'll get our spear, our shovel, 
our axe. And then the shears are already shears, so that's cool. Okay, retiring these bad boys. And kapoop, I mean, we can still use them for, uh, you know, stuff, right? Stuff and things. But nice, dude. We've got a whole mess of metal tools. Ooh, spear. Ooh, well, that's a stone knife. Ooh, we already had that. Ooh, a stone, uh, no, that's tin bronze shovel. Ooh, axe. Ooh, shears. Oh, God, those are glowing, stinking hot. Who wants a haircut with molten hot shears? I know I do. Ha ha ha. Actually, my hair looks like I got butchered by the barber. Like if you said something really mean about the barber's mother or girlfriend or something, or husband, whatever, you know, their spouse. I don't know. And then, you know, they gave you that haircut. Yeah, that's what I'd go to the barber with. Like that. So good. Oh, also, too, I think I've figured out what... Um, what I want to sell at my shop, like the main stinking thing. I think I figured it out. It should be a lot of stinking fun. Let's see if we can't uh, coerce our fellow Rastafarians to use our new devices that we'll be making. So um, I'm going to gather some materials for those puppies. I'll show you cats and kittens in the next one when we get our shop up and stinking rolling. What exactly um, our product's going to be. But let's just say... And it's going to be an explosively good time. <laughs> but, you know, here's a hint. It's not what you're thinking. Mm, oh, no, that's right, Joe. Pop is a trickster. I'm a grifty, grafty, slippery salesman, baby. That's right. And it'll show. It'll show. Mm. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to set off for adventure and collect the required materials we need. Aww. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel here. Check out some other of our awesome videos on the main page. You might find something you greatly enjoy. I know I did, but I'm biased because I made them. So hey, go check it out. Also, slap a like down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think our sale item is going to be that we'll be tormenting the server with. But hey, they're buying it and they're doing it to themselves. So, you know, we hold no, um, oh, what's the word? responsibility for whatever may happen to our fellow Rastafarians. You like that, by the way? Rastafarians? Patent pending. Working title. But let me know what you think in the comments. So I'll catch you cats on Flippity Flop. And as always, I love you. Bye.